A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a shocking turn of events, Sean Diddy Combs, once hailed as a music mogul and a savvy entrepreneur, now finds himself embroiled in serious legal troubles that threaten to dismantle the empire he built over decades. The three-time Grammy winner, known for his hit-making prowess and high-profile business dealings, was arrested in New York on September 16th, facing charges of sex trafficking and racketeering. The indictment accuses Combs of leveraging his power and prestige to exploit female victims and male sex workers in what has been described as freak-offs. Allegations of abuse against him date back to 2008, and if convicted, he could face a minimum of 15 years in prison. Combs has pleaded not guilty and is awaiting trial, but the damage to his public image has been swift and severe. Following the surfacing of several allegations last year, Combs has seen a rapid decline in his standing within the industry. He stepped down as chairman of Revolt TV and subsequently sold his majority stake in the company. Additionally, he reportedly lost a reality show deal with Hulu, and his once popular fashion line, Sean John, has disappeared from the Macy's department store website. The fallout continued when disturbing footage emerged from 2016, showing Combs attacking his then-girlfriend, R&B singer Cassie, in a hotel hallway. This incident led to him losing the key to the city of New York, and Peloton even paused the use of his music on their platform. Combs' honorary degree from Howard University was rescinded, and his charter school, Capital Preparatory School in Harlem, severed ties with him. Earlier this year, Combs withdrew a lawsuit against Diageo, the London-based spirits giant, as part of a settlement that made the company the sole owner of his Ciroc and De Leon brands. Despite these setbacks, Combs' music remains untouched, at least for the time being. His record label, Bad Boy Records, which is synonymous with 1990s hip-hop legends like Notorious B.I.G., Faith Evans, and Madalari, is still releasing music. Last year, Combs released his first solo studio album since 2006, titled The Love Album, Off the Grid, and Janelle Monet released The Age of Pleasure under his label. Both projects received Grammy nominations, including a nod for Monet's album in the prestigious Record of the Year category. In 2022, Machine Gun Kelly also released an album titled Mainstream Sellout through Bad Boy. While Combs' music continues to stream on major platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, and Amazon Music, the streaming services have yet to comment on how they plan to handle his music in light of the recent allegations. In the wake of these developments, many in the entertainment industry have weighed in on Combs' situation. Some have expressed concern for his children, while others have voiced their disappointment and disgust. Notable figures such as 50 Cent, LL Cool J, and Shine have been vocal about their thoughts on Combs and the serious allegations against him. LL Cool J, who collaborated with Combs on the 1997 album Phenomenon, expressed sympathy for Combs' children, saying, I feel for his kids. In stark contrast, 50 Cent took to social media to mock Combs, referencing the law enforcement raids in which police seized drugs, videos, and over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant from Combs' homes in Los Angeles and Florida. After appearing on The Drew Barrymore Show, 50 Cent quipped, Here I am keeping good company with at Thedra Barrymore Show, and I don't have 1,000 bottles of lube at the house. Shine, a former bad boy artist who has had a tumultuous history with Combs, stated that he finds no satisfaction in Combs potentially facing prison time despite their past conflicts. This is someone who destroyed my life, said Shine, who was convicted of assault and other charges stemming from a nightclub shooting in 1999. While he expressed no joy in Combs' current predicament, he acknowledged the complicated nature of their relationship. Valletta Wallace, the mother of the late notorious B.I.G., also voiced her outrage upon witnessing the footage of Combs' attack on Cassie. She admitted to feeling embarrassed for Combs, who played a significant role in shaping the East Coast hip-hop scene alongside her son. As the music industry continues to grapple with these allegations, listeners are left to ponder the future of Combs' music. While many fans are hesitant to abandon his work completely, there is a growing sentiment that it may be time to reconsider their relationship with his music. The challenge lies in the fact that many of Combs' most iconic hits feature collaborations with other artists, making it difficult to separate the music from the man. Combs' discography includes timeless tracks such as I'll Be Missing You with Faith Evans and 112, Victory featuring the notorious B.I.G. and Busta Rhymes, 
and I Need a Girl Part 1 with Usher and Loon. His collaborations have defined an era, but as the allegations continue to unfold, the question remains. Can listeners enjoy the music while grappling with the actions of the man behind it? As the story develops, the music world watches closely, with many wondering what the future holds for Sean Diddy Combs, a figure who has been both a pioneer in the industry and now a subject of controversy. Will he be able to redeem himself, or will his legacy be forever tarnished by the allegations and the fallout from his actions? Only time will tell as the legal proceedings unfold and the public continues to react to the complexities of fame, power, and accountability in the world of entertainment. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.